as the world has become increasingly globalised, people have lost more and more control over the source and quality of their food. In addition to this, urbanisation is causing people to become increasingly distanced from food practices and knowledges, with detrimental effects. The current food system is unsustainable for the world's growing population. Increasing agricultural intensification is degrading rural areas, as well as having devastating effects on the wider environment. The issue of food insecurity is high on the global political agenda. Social movements seeking to localise food production have emerged as a direct consequence, seeking to combat the social and environmental injustices and bring people closer to their food. As 54% of the world's population resides in urban areas, and more than two-thirds of the world are projected to urbanise by 2050, urban community gardens present a potential solution. Gardens are shared spaces where communities collectively design what they wish to grow, work together on the land and share the produce they harvest. Examples of community gardens already exist in Norwich. These, the not-for-profit organisation, the Sustainable Living Initiative, have established two community gardens in Norwich with the aim of improving people's quality of life through gardening and environmental projects. The sites have plots for individuals, families, schools, clubs, race beds for people with mobility problems, as well as communal plots, an orchard, a herb garden, and beehives. They provide shared facilities, including the community greenhouse and three tool sheds, which prevents everyone having to buy their own. The organisation is run by its members, who organise community activities, as well as providing training, support, and resources to new members, ultimately providing a space for people to relax, be active in nature, and share ideas, skills, resources, food and recipes. Community gardens such as these provide an environmentally sustainable and just alternative to the conventional food system. The sustainable farming practice of cultivating smaller plots of land by hand is less degrading to the environment. And as the garden acts as a green space in the urban setting, they also help reduce air pollution and the city's carbon footprint. Furthermore, urban gardens are usually established, organised and managed collectively as commons. This advances spatial justice as it is a more democratic use of public space and allows communities fair and meaningful participation in environmental decision making and action. Community gardens also address social justice issues. This system provides a non-commodified means of obtaining organic, healthy food increasing food security and ensuring the quality of produce is fairly distributed. This achieves social justice by providing equal opportunities and access to learning and produce. They also promote integration and inclusion as people from different ages, races, cultures and backgrounds have the equal opportunity to meet and participate in growing their food. Race Forward, an American racial justice organisation, praised community gardening for providing non-hierarchical forms of leadership, thus eradicating racial discrimination. However, the goal of providing food security for the most economically advantaged may be hard to achieve given that poorer citizens may not always have the free time to spend growing their food as many have to work longer hours to make ends meet. This would have the unintended effect of reserving this opportunity for the more financially stable who have the freedom to devote free time to the activity of gardening. Furthermore, community gardens should not be assumed to be inherently just. Research has found that if the goal of instating a community garden is for urban renewal and gentrification rather than social justice, then racial and class tensions can become amplified. Therefore, projects must make food security and equality for all their primary goals if they are to achieve social justice. Despite these potential issues, community gardens are still a more sustainable alternative to the current food system. With the goal of food justice, organisations such as the Sustainable Living Initiative give people the opportunity to improve environmental sustainability whilst providing affordable, accessible, healthy produce to urban communities. By treating people as citizens as opposed to consumers, Community gardening projects can unlock our ability to influence and steer the food system towards a more just and sustainable future for all.